a calorie is a calorie true or false calories don't matter just eat clean true or false how often do you see a food that is low in calories and you consume it thinking it's healthy very often right 100 grams of paneer 300 calories 100 grams of french fries 300 calories but we all know which one is clearly healthier than the other right what exactly is a calorie why does calorie matter so much what is the science behind calories so let's decode this world of calories together to give you an analogy think of calorie as your body's fuel right uh are all fuel created equal let's find out to keep it very simple a calorie is defined as the amount of energy required to increase the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree centigrade that is what a calorie is ever since we are born to do anything and to do everything we will require energy even when you are sleeping your heart needs to beat your lung needs to do the work your brain is most active when you are sleeping even though your brain is just 2% of your body weight it consumes 20% of your body's fuel your nails are growing your muscles are relaxing for every activity you need fuel till the time you are alive you will need fuel this fuel or energy is your body's way of functioning where do you get this energy from we all get energy from only one source and that is from the food that we eat but how much energy do you consume in a day how much energy do you need in a day that is where the measurement of this energy comes in for example if you are driving a car how much petrol does it consume how many liters does it need whether it is fuel whether it is electricity they have a unit of measurement petrol is measured in liters electricity is measured in something called as kilowatt hours or units calorie is nothing but just a measurement tool for the energy you get from the food when you eat that food the chemical energy from your food gets converted into electric energy at the end of the day what you are eating is energy and this energy is measured as calories when we talk about calories in a normal parlance what we are essential meaning is the energy inside the food think of calorie as your body's fuel when it comes to calories Indian meals come into picture and we have a very different way to look at calories. In one day an average Indian consumes roughly about 3000 calories or 3000 kilocalories. Just to give you an analogy of this, this is equal to 30 liters of freezing water coming to boil. The energy required to do that is the energy an average Indian consumes. Ever heard about your mom or your grandmom talking about calories? No. Why? Because when it comes to calories, calories is a modern science concept. Indian food we never think in terms of carbs, in terms of protein, in terms of fat, in terms of amino acids. No, we structurally think in terms of thali. In here lies lot of advantages and disadvantages. Where this gets very very interesting is when I travel all over the world. everybody tells me that the indian thali is the best way to eat the macro yes your grandmom was not right she was an ace chef she understood science without actually knowing what calories were if you picture a traditional indian thali you will see it will have its portion of carb coming from roti and rice you will always have your roti and rice with great fat on it which is largely ghee there will be a small portion of uh, salad you know it as kachumbar or pichadi or kosambi or some sprout every indian thali will have its portion of fiber in terms of vegetables cooked in little bit of ghee indian thali also has a bowl of dal which is both carbs and protein and one bowl of lentils or beans that little achar is fermented food which is your gut's best friend you always end your meal with either dahi or with chash which again like your fiber is not your food it is food contains live bacteria food for your gut and for the crunch we always have papad which also helps you with your digestion and in the end your grandmom will always give you a small piece of homemade sweet in ghee 
or sometimes just ghee and gud not just acts as a digestive but cleans your palate giving you little sweet taste so later you don't go and overeat sweet ah grandma i love you it's really amazing how ancient wisdom has covered this macronutrient so beautifully and lastly we indians also love our mukwas our soft what your grandmom also told you when you were eating was never count your food when you eat in your grandmom was right unfortunately you interpreted that very very literally which is why a very balanced thali which your grandmom created for you today is filled with lots of carb and it is also overfilled with lots of sugar and lots of sweet in the end both your carbs your fats and your sweet is making you overeat unlike when your grandmom created a very balanced meal which never made you hungry you were consuming about 2000 2200 calories today the same thali your version of that you end up overeating consuming 3000 calories which is why today india has the highest number of obese people in the entire freaking world my big problem is that we indians have given up in the best super food that was made for us and western world has started eating them ghee and which is my biggest regret ever since i got into this this field of nutrition second thing i will want all indians to consume is consume adequate protein if india is the obesity capital and diabetes capital of the world when it comes to health span your last decade of your life Indians have the worst last decade and the reason for that is Indians lose muscle mass very fast we lose bone mineral density very fast you will see somebody in your in your family 60 65 has a knee problem because the bones have given up you will need to consume adequate protein because protein is not for energy protein is to maintain your structural integrity to maintain your muscle mass muscle strength muscle power we indians are getting fatter but we are not getting fitter and that's because we are eating less protein as a thumb rule whatever is your weight multiplied by 1.5 that much protein you need to ingest no it's not necessary for you to have a protein shake you can get your protein from food sources eat diverse range of protein i am often asked prashant how do you eat your food <laughs> the thali that i serve myself or my family serves me I always begin by visualizing how much I want to eat. If you close your eyes for 2 seconds and just visualize, trust me your visualization will look like you want to eat more because you are hungry. From that visualization just take only 50% of what you visualize. Remember that roti is not going anywhere, that rice is not going anywhere. You can always add that later if you are still hungry. Second, I will always drink a glass of water 15 minutes prior to eating. It gives a sensation of fullness to my stomach. I always begin my meal with a salad. Salad is fiber. It gives me food for my gut bacteria. Fiber is phenomenal, guys. I also add olive oil and little bit of vinegar to this to enhance its taste and flavor. Even a small bowl is fine with me. If you will look at my thali you will be surprised I will never eat more than one roti or one bowl of rice but what you will be surprised with not one roti or one bowl of rice but the quantum of ghee I put in it guys ghee is my favorite go to food because ghee will keep me fuller ghee will reduce the glycemic index of roti and rice and increase the glycemic load which is what we want in my thali you will surely see a portion of protein either coming from paneer or coming from beans or lentils i am a vegetarian you can use egg or meat and when it comes to protein more is less you will also see a small portion of veggies in my in my thali uh, we cook our uh, our veggies largely in groundnut oil or in coconut oil we use very less oil i will always end my meal with either a bowl of curd or chash remember this is not for me this is for my gut friends it contains live bacteria fortunately i don't have a sweet tooth monday to sunday unless i am out at somebody else's meal or we go out to eat this is what i eat the two three big takeaways from this number one visualize eat 50% of what you are taking and number three have a balanced thali 
लोड अपॉन घी लोड अपॉन प्रोटीन इफ यू आर हंग्री आफ्टर दिस माई सजेशन डोंट ईट फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ट्रस्ट मी इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स दैट फीलिंग ऑफ हंगर विल गो बिकॉज वॉट इज टेलिंग यू यू आर हंग्री इज नॉट योर फिजियोलॉजिकल हंगर बट योर साइकोलॉजिकल हंगर सेकेंड दिस इज वेर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यूर ग्रैंड मॉम यूज टू से डोंट काउंट द फूड यू आर ईटिंग वाई बिकॉज शी वॉन्टेड यू टू लर्न एंड लिसन टू योर बॉडी टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू आर फुल Do you know what is the definition of an intelligent person in our Vedas in our ancient literature the definition is an intelligent person is one who knows when to stop eating since time immemorial indians knew that giving your body more food than it needs will make you fatter calories matter though they didn't have the science they understood the mechanisms for it when you eat more calories than your body needs for the functioning of its organs for its digestion or for movement you will gain weight this is law of thermodynamics energy can neither be created nor be destroyed all the excess energy from the food that you ingest if you can't burn will get stored as mass that is weight If you want to lose weight most people think about burning more calories though that may theoretically be true but there are a lot of modalities when it comes to burning calories and how your body uh, maintains a metabolism homeostasis a large part of the weight gain and weight loss have to do with the left hand side of the equation which is calories in which comes from food so if you are on your weight loss journey remember this calories matter most and you need to eat less If you are not eating less you will not lose weight. One of the big things that I am trying to do with my channel is also to make India health literate. I can make you literate. If you learn how to read packets, teach these to your kids because they often will go and order from Blinkit, Zepto or go to the Kirana and and order. Just educate them. Trust me your kids are smart. If you educate them, if you respect their knowledge, they will ensure that they don't eat too much of this. Remember, this is one education your child is not going to get in the school. It is your responsibility. Remember, the source of those calories matter. If you are eating too much of carbs and too much of fat and under eating protein, you know you are gaining weight, right? If you are eating too much of protein, under eating carbs and fat, you will see you will bulk up. Your muscles will be better. Your structural integrity will be great. Also, remember, alcohol has no use in the body. Remember, my best friend, Ghee. Remember my second best friend protein. This is something that you need to look out for. Not eating from a packet is not a rule, not ruled out, but try and avoid as much as you can and if you are eating eat mindfully. And now I will come to the most important brahmastra of this video. Count your calories guys when you eat. Every single day after you have eaten make a note of what you are eating how many rotis what portion of rice what portion of dal pulses i'll tell you why when you note that down you will realize how much more you have eaten than you should have eaten i read about a study when people were asked how much they ate and when this was compared to actually what they ate they under reported this by 50% you guys don't know how much you are eating till you note it down If you just do this for 2 days guys trust me you will start reducing calories you will start losing weight you don't need to go to any nutritionist for this google if you need to know which food contains how much calories and you will be shocked to see how much more you are eating and this is one of the reasons why calories matter most i hope guys this video was useful to you if you have any question on calories any myth or any reality you want to share with me any calorie challenge that you have put them in the comments below i will try and respond to all of them i hope you had a great time watching this also guys before you go don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube shorts where all of this in bite size information is made available to you if you don't have too much time thank you adios